Good morning. Welcome to June 1st, Monday morning. Um, had a beautiful afternoon yesterday um, to, to close out our, our month and, and um, a, really a good day in worship. Um, even though there was only, you know, four of us, five of us in, in, in uh, service. Um, tomorrow we're going to be discussing, you know, if we're going to be reopening or, or not or, or how that's going to look. I uh, saw a couple other churches, um, look, you know, they're, they're going to be opening next Sunday, but they're going to do outside service. Um, I've, I've heard other ones say that they're going to they're going to hold off a while. So we'll see. You know, again, we have we have some real good, strong um, level headed leadership that, um, you know, they're going to make some good, good decisions and and safe decisions on, on what we should be doing. So um, I will let you know um, Wednesday morning. And, and what we decided, and, and, and I know we'll get it out on, on Facebook, and, and, and Sarah Beth or Wilma or someone will send emails out, or, or, or we'll get on the phone and call everyone and, and, and let you know what's going on. But uh, uh, today, though, we're going to be in, in Second Chronicles uh, 17 and 18, and in John 13. Um, Joseph, we see him uh, today, you know, in Second Chronicles, and and he really sets up a, a, a standard of of of, um, of of a religious kind of society, you know, setting up a preaching ministry, uh, teaching people what's right and what's wrong, and 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 and, and really, it, it talks about people just not um, that's just not being knowledgeable in the Word, you know, helping them with their wisdom and their walk with God. Um, and 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 really, that's what Jesus was doing with the disciples, you know, helping them figure out their walk with God and, 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 and how they need to do things and what they need to do. And he's coming to the end of his, his ministry here. And, and he, you know, he, um, they're, they're, they're setting things up for the Passover and, and, um, and, and really a lot of this is, is talking about Peter today. Um, <coughs> because Jesus is going to wash, wash their feet. Um, and, um, and Simon Peter says this in, in verse 6. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, uh, You do not real, realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you will never wash my feet, Jesus answered. Unless I, unless I wash you, uh, you, you, you have no, no part with me. Then the Lord, um, Simon Peter replied, um, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Um, Jesus answered, those who have had a bath need only to wash your feet. Their whole body is clean and you are clean, though not every one of you. Um, and, 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 and really he's portraying, you know, just the cleansing, um, the getting rid of the, the, the dirt and the filth in, in our lives. Um, and, and, but Peter, you know, he's, he's, he, first he doesn't want Jesus to wash his feet. And then, then it's like, well, if you're going to do that, then I want you to do my, you know, every part of me. Um, and, and sometimes Peter is again, just, just rash in what he's doing. Um, but, um, you know, he's, he, Jesus is just talking about, um, you know, the end of the end of his ministry here and, and what's going to happen. Um, you know, particularly with Judas, you know, betraying him, um, and and you know, there too, Peter, Peter, you know, you know, surely, surely not I. I'm not gonna. I would never deny you. And and Jesus tells him, yes, you are. Um, matter of fact, you're 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 gonna deny me uh, three times. And um, and he and he really looks at Peter. It's like, you know, are you are you really willing to lay your life down for me? And some of that, I think he was, he was working into, even after his death, his resurrection after Pentecost was, as they're going out into, into the ministry, um, you know, things are, th- things were getting laid out again, just like Jehovah was, was, was helping uh, the people of Judea, uh, Judah, you know, here's Jesus helping the disciples prepare for the, the future and, and the things that need to happen. And, and I think part of that was, you know what he was doing with, um, you know, with with Peter, um, but um, you know he was letting him know, you know, he's he's going ahead of him. He's going somewhere where he's going to uh, prepare a place for us. He's gonna he's gonna take care of us, 
and 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 again, Peter, you know, he's he 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 doesn't want to admit that he has faults sometimes, um, you know, and and sometimes we 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 set ourselves up uh, to fail, so to speak, and 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 Peter does that a lot, you know, he 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 jumps out there before he thinks about things and how 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 areas of his life need to change and do better and. And here's Jesus just confronting that and, and really letting him know what the future looks like. So um, some real good text again. We're getting t- towards the end of Jesus' ministry again in, in, in this gospel. Uh, I just pray that you have a great day today. Uh, again, keep praying for our country, for the people who are involved in things, um, our, our uh, decisions on reopening. Um, just a lot of things to be praying about and asking God to help us with. So God bless you all. Have a great day, and I'll see you Tuesday morning.